an emergency on the floor Wednesday. This morning, lawmakers began debate on Bill 127, introduced by Health Care Committee Chair Senator Dennis Rodriguez. The legislation is in response to this week's opinion issued by the Attorney General determining a provision of law establishing a nominating council for the Guam Memorial Hospital Board of Trustees was inorganic. The bill essentially removes the provision. Despite the governor exercising his Organic Act power to impanel the GMH Board of Trustees, Senator Rodriguez maintains those appointees will still have to come before the legislature. In the AG opinion that he just um, released, mm -hmm. it was clear there that the authority of the legislature remains to, uh, on the adv advice and consent. And so, um, you know, um, whoever he wants to serve up there must still come before confirmation. Process. Senator Ben Panglinen, however, feels the legislation really isn't needed, saying it's a matter of perspective. I want to say that there really is nothing at all that is preventing the governor from saying, I, with my Organic Act power, say that I want the nominating council to go forward. If he has really true Organic Act power over the hospital, he can decide that by virtue of his Organic Act power that he will designate a nominating council to help him select in the process outlined in the law qualified candidates for the Board of Trustees. Lawmakers like Senator Respicio in the meantime say he rises in support of the measure but with reservation and trepidation. He further urged the governor's organic board not to move forward with their meeting scheduled for next week. If the governor does move forward and convenes this organically act created board on April 7, 2011, then he's certainly going to be inviting um, uh, a request by the legislature uh, to the Supreme Court for that declaratory judgment. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Lanny Walker.